ever stop to think just how the computer you use daily went from an idea to an essential part of your life today? It's a story filled with wild innovation, maverick thinkers, and a few unexpected twists. Today we're going to explore the exciting story of PC through time. So let's get started. Our story begins in 1575 with an Italian printmaker named Francesco Rampazzetto. He invented a machine called the Scrittura Tattile, a device designed to impress letters on paper much like a typewriter. This invention, however, was far from the practical device we recognize as a typewriter today. It wasn't until 1868 that we saw the first commercially successful typewriter, when Christopher Latham Scholes, a newspaper editor and printer, invented the first practical typewriter. This invention dramatically changed how we communicate and laid the groundwork for the digital age we live in today. The typewriter was a mechanical marvel. It allowed users to type letters onto a piece of paper by pressing keys. Each key was connected to a type bar that had the corresponding letter molded onto its end. When a key was pressed, the type bar would swing up and hit an inked ribbon, transferring the letter onto the paper. This was a significant improvement over handwriting as it allowed for faster and more legible. Brands like Remington were pioneers in typewriter production. The Remington No. 1, released in 1874, was the first successful typewriter. It introduced the QWERTY keyboard layout, which is still used in keyboards today. However, Remington wasn't alone in this effort. Several other brands like Williams, Oliver, Doherty Visible, and Underwood also made significant contributions to the evolution of typewriters. Each of these brands played a significant role in shaping the typewriter industry and paved the way for the development of personal computers. So, how did we go from mechanical typewriters to digital PCs? Let's find out. The first digital PC was none other than the ENIAC, short for Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer. Completed in 1945, ENIAC was a marvel of its time. It was developed during World War II by John Mockley and J. Presper Eckerd at the University of Pennsylvania. It was initially designed to calculate artillery firing tables for the United States Army's Ballistic Research Laboratory. However, its true potential was far greater. ENIAC was capable of solving a large class of numerical problems through reprogramming. That's right, ENIAC was reprogrammable, which means it could be configured to work on different problems. This was a significant departure from earlier computing machines, which were designed for a single purpose. This reprogrammability is a defining characteristic of digital PCs. Do you know that ENIAC was enormous by today's standards? Yes, it weighed over 30 tons and took up about 1800 square feet of space. But despite its size, ENIAC laid the foundation for the miniaturization of computers. ENIAC was followed by a series of increasingly sophisticated computers, including UNIVAC, Universal Automatic Computer, the first computer produced for commercial use. But what were the key milestones that led us from the ENIAC to the PCs we use today? Let's find out. The first of these milestones came in 1975 with the introduction of the Altair 8800 by Micro Instrumentation and Telemetry Systems. The Altair 8800 is often considered the spark that ignited the personal computer revolution. It was the first computer kit that was both affordable and accessible to the general public. Despite its rudimentary design and functionality, the Altair 8800 captured the imagination of a generation and inspired a new wave of computer enthusiasts. Fast forward to 1981. IBM launched its first PC known as the IBM PC. This was a significant milestone as it set new standards for personal computing. The IBM PC was more powerful and versatile than any of its predecessors. It was also compatible with a wide range of software, making it a popular choice for businesses and individuals alike. In 1984, Apple introduced the Macintosh, another major milestone in PC development. The Macintosh stood out for its graphical user interface, which made computers more user-friendly and accessible to non-technical users. This was a game-changer in personal computing as it shifted the focus from programming skills to user experience. In the same era, a key player entered the scene, Microsoft. Founded by Bill Gates and Paul Allen, Microsoft introduced an operating system called MS-DOS that would revolutionize personal computing. The company made a pivotal deal with IBM to create the PC-DOS operating system, which laid the foundation for the Windows OS that we know today. This operating system coupled with productivity software like Microsoft Office. Well, it transformed computers from complex machines used by specialists into everyday tools 
used by millions of people around the world. The Apple II, IBM PC, and Microsoft's MS-DOS operating system were all key milestones in this era and were pivotal in shaping the future of personal computing. Moving on, we're about to explore how the cost of PCs has changed over time. So don't go anywhere. Over time, the cost of PCs has also seen dramatic changes. In the early days of personal computing, owning a computer was a luxury few could afford. Machines like the HP 3000 carried price tags in the tens of thousands of dollars, putting them out of reach for most individuals. The first personal computers, like the Altair 8800 and the IBM PC, were priced at several thousand dollars. Adjusted for inflation, that's equivalent to tens of thousands of dollars today. These high costs were primarily due to the expensive components and the novelty of technology. However, with the advent of microprocessors and advances in manufacturing techniques, the cost of PCs began to drop significantly. By the late 1970s, Apple II was being sold for around $1,300, still expensive by today's standards, but far more affordable than earlier models. The trend towards lower prices continued in the 1980s and beyond. IBM's PC in 1981 brought further competition to the market and helped to drive prices down even further. This led to a surge in their popularity and usage. Today, PCs are more affordable than ever before. A basic laptop can be purchased for a few hundred dollars, while high-end models can cost several thousand. This wide range of prices means that PCs are now accessible to a broad spectrum of consumers. Despite these lower prices, PCs have become increasingly powerful. Modern machines boast multi-core processors, large amounts of RAM, and high-capacity solid-state drives. These advances have made today's PCs capable of tasks that would have been unthinkable just a few decades ago. While we're talking about costs, ever wonder what the most expensive PC ever developed cost? You might be surprised. Well, the title goes to not one, but two remarkable machines. The semi-automatic ground environment, Sage system, and the Earth simulator. The Sage system was a large computer and networking system developed in the 1960s. It coordinated data from many radar sites and processed it to produce a single unified image of the airspace over a wide area. The cost of developing SAGE was astronomical. It was completed in 1963 and cost approximately $8 billion. However, other estimates place the total project cost between $8 and $12 billion in 1964 dollars, which is equivalent to about $60 to $90 billion in 2011 dollars. Well, this makes it more expensive than the Manhattan Project, which developed the nuclear bomb that SAGE defended against. On the other hand, the Earth Simulator, developed by NEC Corporation, was completed in 2002 and was priced at a staggering 100 million. It was designed to model global climate systems with unparalleled accuracy. Despite its costs, the Earth Simulator was instrumental in advancing our understanding of climate systems. It enabled scientists to create detailed simulations of weather patterns, helping them predict natural disasters and study global warming more accurately. While most of us will never need or afford a supercomputer like these two, their development represents a significant milestone in PC history. We've covered a lot from the background to the present. Now what does the future hold for PCs? We've got some exciting predictions coming up. Don't miss it. As we look to the future, it's clear that PCs will continue to evolve. The pace of technological advancement shows no signs of slowing down, and the possibilities for future PC technology are very exciting. One area where we can expect significant advancements is in processing power. Quantum computers use the principles of quantum mechanics to process information, potentially solving complex problems much faster than traditional computers. While still in its early stages, quantum computing could revolutionize everything from scientific research to cybersecurity. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is another area where we can expect significant advancements. We're already seeing AI being used in personal computers for tasks like voice recognition and predictive typing. In the future, we can expect AI to become even more integrated in our PCs, making them more intuitive and personalized. Virtual and augmented reality technologies also hold exciting possibilities for the future of PCs. Imagine a future where instead of staring at a screen, you're immersed in a three-dimensional virtual environment. 
or where digital information is overlaid onto the physical world around you. In terms of hardware, we can expect PCs to become even more impact and energy efficient. Advances in materials science could lead to new types of computer chips that are smaller, faster, and consume less power. We might even see the rise of wearable or implantable computers. Finally, advances in battery technology and energy efficiency could lead to PCs that can run for days or even weeks on a single charge. Who knows what more incredible innovations await us? Well, that wraps up our story of the PC. We've come a long way from typewriters to modern PCs. It's been an incredible journey filled with innovation and progress. So, what do you think? How do you see PCs evolving in the future? Share your thoughts and predictions in the comments below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on our next videos. And as always, thanks for watching.